Well, welcome back to JW Texas Outdoors. We're back at it again. I'm down here in Easton. Trying to give me another haul. We got we got pretty pretty good amount of deer meat, but hope I can get a few people on video shooting some deer or hogs or something. Gonna have my sister, brother-in-law, my brother, uh, niece. Uh, my buddy Jesse's already here. I'm his guest, so. Hopefully we get some good footage, a little bit more than last weekend because it's a bunch of rain. My uncle and them, they're over at Menard, they're hunting, trying to get a good buck, so hopefully they get one. And, uh, my buddy Gary should be out there too. I think hopefully he'll get him one or his wife get one or my Aunt Tammy might get one, I hope so. So anyways, y'all hang in there. Let's get this weekend going. Make it a good one. Between a turkey and a fox. That's it. That's it. The other thing with horns, somewhere out there. TJ shot a hog in the neck. He said he just sucked the bullet out. He's up there at the, at the by the the pond by the house, I guess. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Shooting at twenty five out six. I'll put these in there. Yeah, no deer. No deer. Well, I don't know where I was at. <laughs> Dude, Where did he hunt at? Uh, I think he hunted at uh, Brown. Oh. That's what he shot at. He shot a sow. Oh, yesterday, right? No. Uh, I believe this morning. Or well, Brian told me to show me a picture of it yesterday. It fell in the water. Oh, well, yeah, I guess I did. Yeah, yeah. Sow was yesterday. Uh, this morning. This morning, I forgot where he said he went this morning, but he said uh, <clears throat> he seen some does. He just bought the evening evening hunts. They come in right at dark, uh, right at where everything's done. You know, like. Well, Travis, see, where are they hunting at today? He, uh, Travis went over to. Uh, <clears throat> Travis went over to James's because he said he shot a big boar or missed a big boar and then go back to But it's just Friday. We got Got all weekend. We got time. Y'all welcome back. We're out here. We're in the blind. Sun's getting ready to come up. Yeah, hopefully we'll get to see some. Hopefully some good hogs or something come through. Buddy Jesse's back up on his hillside, so hopefully you get him a good buck. So uh, let's get this let's get this hunt started. Well, still no no movement yet, but that's about eight eight o'clock, so uh, I do know this feed not working but a lot of times those pigs come through here and always check it and see if it's been going or not so that's why I was hoping to get one coming through but we still got time so uh, we'll just have to wait and see you know well we're gonna head back into camp uh, I didn't see nothing. I don't think Jesse saw anything either. But that's all right. Got this evening. Got the rest of the weekend, so we'll see what happens. But let's see. I'm gonna do a little, a little feed and stuff like that. So anyway, let's go meet up with Jesse. See what he says. Come on. Hey, you see that?
is a Jesse Aguilar tree fairy. That is fine. But no, no side shields, no gloves. Hand no, bleeding. Don't cut his hand. Ain't no good, man. That's what happens when you don't see nothing. And they want me to help them, but I can't do that and hold this camera. Because I'm dyslexic. You think I'm going to get sponsored by Roby? Yeah, if you see that, Roby, we need some new batteries. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> God! <laughs> <laughs> Eric over here. What do you think about it, Eric? Bad. Slipping this morning. He didn't hunt. He didn't hunt. Did you get a pig? Where's from out there? In there sleeping in the camping. <laughs> she says she did her duty already this season.
What did you do? You fall? No. Take shit. <laughs> what? What did you get? Did you get it on? Yeah. What are you doing down on the ground? What are you doing on the ground? I was checking his view of the GoPro. Oh. <laughs> you Imagine him making some scalloped potatoes or something. I don't know. I don't know what Brian doing. I don't know what he's doing. Then he got this one over here. There she is right there. I think she's. I don't know what's all her. She got the Egyptian flu or something. Her egg. What's up? I don't know what he's doing either. What are y'all doing over on YouTube? Get back with y'all later on today. Hopefully, it turns for the best. Keep it up. Well, we're back in the blind for the evening hunt. Got my sister over here with me, Samantha. She gonna be trying to shoot them with a 45 70 over here. Going after some hogs. Got I'm using my wife's rifle, a little 308. Different setup though, different spot. So, show y'all the area right quick. But hopefully they show up. We try to get some hogs. So. Pull an Annie Oakley. God. Uh, <laughs> so. Hopefully they'll come out. And if they come out, we'll start recording some more. If not, then uh, we're going back to camp for some barbecue tonight, I think. If the cows don't mess it up. Yeah, a bunch of cows running around right now. I already see one cutting back up this way. Too. Yeah. Huh. Y'all hang in there.
Just got out to the barn. Hoping for a hog or a doe to come out tonight. Put some deer cane and some other attracting tail earlier. Let's see if we can make something happen. If I see anything moving around or get a good feeling about something, come back on. Just giving an update. Nothing but some uh, black crows for now. I did have some live action a little bit ago. Apparently it started warming up and a huge uh, nest of yellow jackets started to move around. So I guess I did get some kills today. Let's see if you can... That whole thing about the door is full of them. I heard them start buzzing around. Luckily I had some spray. A lot, the, a lot of the kills are still there on the floor. But still hanging in there. Still waiting for our doe or hogs to come out. Still a little early. Starting to cool down a little bit. As soon as I see something or feel like something's going to happen, I'll kick it back home.
just a bee, but everybody out there that hunts, I mean, you know, it's, it really gets you going. I just dropped that hog, and the deer is still out there. Really didn't spook them at all. I'm really surprised. You can kind of see their heads out there now. Typically, whenever we take a shot, I mean, they just, they just bolt, but they're still hanging around. Kind of see them out there moving around. There's a good sized drop off right over there. It really works in the deer's favor, or really anim any animal's favor. From the blind, you really can't see. It's probably about a three, four foot drop off. Their hog is down. I said, I'm pretty sure it's a good size boar hog. Usually they're traveling by themselves. All their feet are over there. Man, really couldn't have worked out any better. Got probably five, ten minutes of daylight left. Wait for JW Outdoors to come pick me up. Dropped me off at the blind earlier this afternoon. He went all over to my other spot uh, with my wife, his sister. So once they get over here with the side by side, we'll go down there, check out what we got. I can see it from here, I know it's down. So once we get uh once we get down there we'll get some pictures. Got it with my Remington Woodmaster semi automatic thirty uh, out six. It was dead on tonight, so I said we'll get down there, see what it looks like. From here it looked like a pretty good size hog. Probably a boar since it's by himself. But uh, we'll get down there and see uh, see what we got. Right over. What did you see, Samantha? I fought. What did you do, Samantha? I shot at it and missed. With what, Samantha? 45 to me. <laughs> Stupid head. Hey, baby. What are you doing? Not much. Yeah. That's crazy. That's cool. Yeah, goofy head. Yeah. Okay, I'll tell you. Well, he don't have a house. Put it in too. Smile. Hold on a minute, boy. Yes, wait a minute. 
Can't see that damn light, boy. Yeah. I think they're showing them. They got a lot more rushing in it. Yeah, he does. He's got a lot of rushing in him. Well, well, no, this ain't the big, big one. That one's only about 155. 150. It's not that there? Dead. There's a lot more rushing in that one. Oh, See yeah. The, the head are longer. Yeah. Iron eaters. <laughs> yeah, brother in law got one, one pig. And then, uh, one of their buddies that comes down here with a guy named Travis, he, he shot another pig. So that's those videos, those two pigs. Brother-in-law's weighed 162 pounds, I think. His biggest one so far is like 177 this year. So anyway, we're gonna get over here and start getting on some groceries here, man, get them cooked up. So y'all stay tuned. East on this time, buddy Jesse, my brother, my niece, brother in law, and my sister Samantha, and uh, had a good time. Uh, brother in law shot a pig, uh, another guy, his buddy from East Texas, shot one. Uh, this morning, my, my brother shot a, a real big buck, uh, good blood trail, and everything, and uh, kind of goes away. We can't find him, so he's gonna stay down here a little bit longer. and. Uh, See if you can't get back on him and find him. So, anyways, got y'all a bunch of good video, I think, too. Uh, uh, my brother in law did some video on his phone and uh, him shooting a pig. And, uh, so, uh, we got a little bit more extra video for y'all. Hope it turns out pretty good once we edit it. But, anyways, until next time, my friends, uh, keep it safe, have fun.